Hey everybody, I'm back for one more quick little video. I just been messing around with the new Logic 10.3 and GarageBand, which I just got on my iPad Pro. And there's something that I just really like about this integration. So say I'm working on this project. And I want to add an instrument that I really like in on my iPad or I just want to continue working on this but without taking the computer anywhere. Well, we've got this cool thing, it's called Share Project to GarageBand for iOS. We're going to share it again. We're going to call this one B. I was doing a test, I just want to keep it separate. It's going to do a bounce out, so it's just going to give you a stereo output. It's not going to give you the whole project for this because we're not editing it, we're just going to be adding to it. So let's load GarageBand. Go into my songs. There's the one I was working on, but you can see it already shows up. It's pretty fast. They seem to have gotten that delay down. Let's open this up. And now we just have that track. And so if I want, I can come in. And just for the sake of this, let's watch. I don't want to do anything to really add to the song at this moment, but I just want to show you what happens. So now we're going to come out and let's close this project for a moment. Okay, we're going to reopen it. And it's going to say, there are changes, so let's import the changes. And that's what I just recorded on the iPad, right in there with the full instrument because we have all the instruments and we can make all the parts fit now and we can just continue working in Logic. So it's a great way that we can additionally integrate the two into one. Okay, that's just one little aspect. There are so many more cool things with the GarageBand version, but we'll talk about those another time.